Hey guys, welcome to the top three miscellaneous assets for March, April 2018. And this start off is a nice one, and it's called the Easy UI Emerald Default. And this is a simple and easy UI pack, which can be for a game on application with uh, a nice selection of UI elements, which include boxes, buttons, tech boxes, check boxes, radio buttons, uh, gorgeous progress, whatever it is. And it's a selection of really nice looking styled. UI elements. The next one is the free pixel mob and this is a 16 by 16 animated UI image and sprite of a slime monster includes a walk and attack and three idle animations. This next one is called female character portraits and this is how to customize your own female character with three unique heads, different hairstyles, makeup and clothes and it includes 13 portraits of women that can be used immediately in the game. It's 330 by 210 pixels in size, PNG formats with a transparent background. There's a bonus of coloured backgrounds and frames. The next one is the TGU Skybox Pack, and this is from uh, this is the Greylands Universe Skybox Pack. It's a set of hand painted sky textures, ideal for a fantasy game or to set the mood of a specific zone. It's four unique sky paintings, Doomsday, New Dawn, Nostalgia and Urban Light. And there is all six sided cube maps with PNG of up to 2K. The next one is something called Free Pixel Gear and this is 19 16 by 16 art lava weapon and armor sprites, which includes 11 blades, axe, mace, helm, chest, hands, legs, feet, and shields. The next one is something very similar and it's called the Free Pixel Food, which is again this book. This includes 64 16 by 16 detailed pixel art sprites, which I won't try and name all these because it comes with a hell of a lot. I'll just name the cookie, brownie, moonshine, whiskey, jam, apple, apple worm, turnip, potato, eggs, honeycomb, pineapple, bacon, beer, an absolute whole host of all the different sort of um, fruit, meats, vegetables, whatever it may be for you to use in a pixel art style. And the next one is the 2D character Bolchi, which is a 2D animated character made for platformers, which is um, ranging from 220, 325 by 695, which is the lowest, to 854 by 796 of the highest resolution, which includes 17 animations, which include run, hurt, jump, land, attack, idle, dead, and something with or without a weapon. Four prefabs, including the rigged and not rigged versions of the character, and a basic player script for the testing of animations. And the next one is called Render Boxed Post Processing, and this is a set of post processing profiles, light rigs, and sky domes with clouds, and a shader to make your game look a lot better. And it includes 44 post processing styles for specific scenes, so you can associate your game with a specific style. And you can see some of the examples below and you can associate the post processing with a specific setting scene and look and the next one is something called sensor effect and this is quite a cool one if you've ever seen games or content that might not be suitable for certain audiences you can allow you to censor an image within your scene simply create a 3d object and add the material and you can hide everything behind it and it includes a regular mass cutout mass smooth of the three shader variants so this might be a cool one if you're looking to create some sort of stylized effect and last but not least is the aura volumetric lighting and this one has quite a lot of ratings and reviews and this one is an open source of volumetric lighting solution and you can see that it's hosted on github and it's aura allows you to simulate the scattering of light in the environment with medium and illumination of micro particles and it, that are present in the environment but invisible to the eye and camera and you can see it in the scenes below and it's quite a nice high quality effect and it features opaque and transparent geometry support which is pretty cool and it includes the particle illumination fog and density works in forward and deferred rendering works in the newer versions of unity 2018 with ldr and hdr works with high dynamic, high dynamic range and it is completely scalable, scalable for real time so you can adjust the performance as needed and it includes different types of lights which for full shadow support, cookie support, 
density and color injection. And be sure to check out all the miscellaneous assets for March, April 2018 and all the other assets that are available this month and be sure to thank all the developers for all the hard work and creating all these great assets for free. So thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.